Well, I guess it's that time of year where Warriors announcements are everywhere. Just two days ago, the official Koei Tecmo YouTube channel released a 30 second long teaser, which showed a couple of vague images and also stated that we would get to wield the power of the gods once more, which is alluding to the catchphrase of Warriors Orochi 4. Though the description of their video states that there will be more details on August 30th, of course, nothing stays hidden for long on the internet, and shortly afterwards, what we all thought was coming, Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate, an upgraded re-release of the prior game, was leaked via Amazon Japan. Only a few hours later, though, the game was officially announced in the newest issue of Weekly Famitsu. Here's what we know from the leaks and the announcement so far. Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate will be coming to the PlayStation 4 and the Switch, and it will have a special upgrade price for those who have already bought the base game and just want the extra content. Apparently, there wasn't any talk about an Xbox One version, which is not unusual for Japan, as that console is basically forgotten here, but as Gematsu says, a port is likely planned for it in the West. The upgrade price is going to be 4,800 yen, which currently equals about 45 American dollars, whereas the full price will be 7,800 yen, or about 73 dollars. Just to be clear, games are a bit more expensive in Japan, so there's no telling if that will be the actual price when it comes to the West. Speaking of that, I want to note here that we actually have no idea if or when the Ultimate version is going to be coming to the West. Hopefully, we don't end up with the same situation as last time, where the Switch version of Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate ended up being a Japan exclusive, even though it was released in both regions for the PS4. From my perspective, this seems more like a very planned release rather than a sudden port. And with the fourth game, we have the precedent set of the base game having already come out on the Switch, so I really don't think we have that to worry about. Other than tweaks and balances to some characters, I'm assuming, we do know that a previously cut character is going to return, Joan of Arc, who last appeared in the third game. Also announced is the new character Gaia, who fits right into the ancient Greek theme and cast of characters from Orochi 4. Other inclusions are going to be the ability to swap sacred treasures, which were items that allowed each character to perform special magic attacks, as well as a better UI, side stories, fleshed out details about the character Odin, and more unique magic. No sources that I've looked at state this, however I do think it's safe to assume that we're going to get the boatload of DLC that this game offers included in this package. Concerning all this news, I I am interested to hear more because honestly I'm not quite sold just yet. I have had a lot of fun every time I sat down to play Warriors Orochi 4, but there just isn't that much to it outside of the story mode. And although you can definitely have fun replaying the same story missions with various teams, I'd really just like to see something else. I'm definitely a huge fan of Warriors games which contain a longer progression based post game modes. For example, Berserk has its Endless Abyss, Hyrule Warriors has its Adventure Mode, and my favorite one, Fire Emblem Warriors has its awesome history mode. If a substantial amount of post-game or non-story based content is added, you can count me sold on this one. But in the meantime, we're just going to have to wait for more info. While we're waiting though, why not go ahead and let me know your take on all this. Have you played any of the Warriors Orochi games before, or does this announcement have you interested in the fourth game now that you know that you'll be getting the full package? Be sure to tell me all about it in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for me today. Maybe you'll see me in two days to cover the trailer. Depends if anything new is going to be there. Thank you for watching, and to see you next time.